Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be doing kind of a spring wardrobe cleaning. <laughs> I'm going to be going through my wardrobe as well as the kids' wardrobe and we're going to be just kind of getting rid of some stuff that we don't use, we don't wear. I'm going to be walking you through some of the tips that I use to declutter and the things that I think in my head as I'm going through it. And then I'm also going to be adding a couple key pieces to each of our wardrobes as well. It's going to be a little crazy here, you guys. You hear my, my boys are in the bathroom right now doing I don't even know what. <laughs> the kids are going crazy. But this is real life. We're just going to film it. Um, today's video is sponsored by Thread Up. They gave me the pieces that I'm going to be adding to my wardrobe as well as my kids' wardrobes for this upcoming season. So let's do this, you guys. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe down below. My name is Jamie. Welcome to the chaos. Let's jump in and um, do what we gotta do. All right, you guys, so I have some pieces laid out on my bed that I'm looking at right now. And one of the first questions I ask myself when decluttering is, have I worn this in the last month? Now, if it's seasonal, and the reason why I haven't worn it in the last month is because it's now warm and it was cold, then maybe that's a good time to just take the seasonally appropriate things for the last season and just kind of box them up and set them aside. And then I can get those back out next fall, next winter. But if I haven't worn it because I haven't worn it and I haven't liked it, then it's time to part ways. All right guys, so the next thing that I ask myself and I ask my children, this is Fiona, you wanna say hi? Hi. Is, does it fit me? Does it fit me? And we're in Fiona's room because she's growing like a weed, like all the kids do. So we need to go through her stuff and we need to figure out what fits her and what doesn't. So Fiona's got some sweatpants in here that I've really been hanging on to because they're so comfy, but the fact is they're too short on her. So we're gonna get rid of some of these sweatpants even if they are so cute and comfy because they don't fit her anymore. An important part about decluttering your wardrobe is really being realistic about the things that you do wear and the things that you use. So like in Fiona's wardrobe, we only have one pair of jeans because Fiona doesn't wear jeans very often. She is a leggings kind of girl. Are you a leggings kind of girl? <laughs> and so I don't keep a lot of jeans for her. And so one thing that we did get a lot of for this summer are dresses because Fiona loves dresses. So we picked up a couple dresses from Thread Up that I think will be really good staples for her. All right, Fiona, do you want to show them what you picked out? Yeah, so. so what is this? A dress. <laughs> this is a dress. And it's really cute because it has flowers on it and I hope it will fit. And you hope it, I hope it will fit you too. Super cute. Isn't that cute, you guys? Oh, Fee, I love it. It's so feminine. Super cute. Where is this from, Fee? Yeah, this is a Ralph Lauren dress, you guys. This house, we don't buy Ralph Lauren for my little kids. <laughs> so we get it from Thread Up. Super so cute. It's really cute. <laughs> and then mom picked out this one because I'm all about the muted colors. But it's still got some color in there, if you can tell. I picked up this skirt. Isn't this cute, you guys? This is from Carter's. Super cute. Do you like it? Yeah. This is from Carter's. And then she's got her little, her little baby gap shorts on underneath it for a little bit more modesty. Thumbs up for some modesty over here. <laughs> A pair of comfy shorts, huh? Yeah, to go under my um, dresses. To go under your dresses and under your skirt, huh? Yeah. Super cute. So we got rid of some excess stuff in her closet that we didn't need, and we replaced it with some pieces that she will definitely wear yeah. all the time. <laughs> right, Nani? Yeah! <laughs> Next week, I'm gonna go through my son's clothes. Now, my boys are a little different because when something stops fitting my oldest, I usually hang on to it for my youngest, but the same rule applies. If it's not fitting them, then it's either getting handed down or if we're getting rid of it and we're gonna donate it. And if it doesn't fit and I don't like it anymore, then we're just gonna donate it too. We're taking you everywhere. Now we're back in my bedroom. <laughs> so another question that I like to ask myself when I'm decluttering is that am I keeping it because I feel like I should really like it? So like maybe this is something that's really trendy. Maybe this is something that 
everybody else really likes, but I might not really like. And so this is something sometimes I do struggle with, especially being a woman. So a piece that I'm going to be keeping, that I'm gonna be kind of exchanging out some of the stuff that I don't use and putting in this staple is this neutral shirt. This is a J. Crew shirt, and this is actually from ThreadUp. Super, super cute. Now one thing I will say about ThreadUp is they carry everything from like Old Navy all the way to made well or free people some more higher end clothes so it's really up to you what you feel comfortable with I wouldn't spend a hundred dollars on a skirt I just wouldn't but I will spend thirty dollars on a really high quality skirt even if it's second hand because maybe it's really high quality but I just wouldn't spend the hundred dollars you know so it's up to you just because it's second hand doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be five dollars depending on you know what brand you purchase <laughs> He is just having too much fun back there because mom is occupied with filming right now. Speaking of higher end brands, I got this super cute skirt from Free People and it was $23, $23.99. Now $23.99, you'd think $23.99, but it's a normally an $89 skirt and mama ain't got $89 to spend on a skirt. But I can spend $23 on a very good quality skirt from Free People that I really like. I also got these sandals from Gap. They look like they're brand new, you guys, don't they? Super cute, I'm a size eight in case you were wondering. <laughs> but these are from Gap, super cute. They look like they're brand new and I did not pay the brand new price tag for them. The last, the last shirt that I picked up for myself to add to my wardrobe, I'm like really liking the neutral. <laughs> Look at this. Everything I picked up is browns. So apparently that's what I'm liking lately. But I got this Ellen Tracy kind of, um, I don't know what you call this, like a loose tank top. And I really like the material. It's really light and loose and airy. And I picked this out for another staple for my closet from Thread Up for this season. A couple more things that I picked up for my kids that won't stop long enough for me to show you guys is I got Ezra this extra small shirt. This is a Circo shirt from Target. I picked him up these Oshkosh shorts. Brand spanking new, they still have the tag on them. And then also these super cute Carter's sandals that look like they're brand new, as well as a little monkey riding a skateboard shirt that is appropriate for my three-year-old son. All right guys, so thank you for joining me today as I am kind of decluttering our wardrobe, adding some new pieces in that I like. Don't mind the mess and the chaos going on behind me. This is real life over here, guys. This is why I'm decluttering. So anyways, don't forget to go to Thread Up. I have a 40% off coupon code for you right here that you can go to. So you're not only saving money because you're buying a second hand, but you're also saving money because you're getting an extra 40% off your price, which is amazing. If you want to see my last Thread Up haul, I'll have it linked up here on the cards for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.